Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tony Choi and it's Wednesday night. That's right, Wednesday night here on Latino Live TV. And I've, I've always said, somos Latino. Hey everybody, check this out. I have an exciting, exciting night with me tonight. I have nothing but stars, nothing but talent, nothing but brothers, fellowship. I have Ray Rodriguez right here. DJ Ray Rodriguez, he's gonna be on the one and twos for you guys. We got Will Meyer Marcellin right here, Will Sax on saxophone. Man, we got a packed show. We got Joma, best credit girl for the credit group. We also have, from Freedom in Christ, we have Mr. Pastor Frank Hernandez in the house. I'm gonna let these guys take it off for you. All right, here we go. Latino Live, Somos Latino, Spotlight, take it. What a blessing and uh, what an honor to have this, just not 
a brother, but an amazing talent, uh, a man of God, uh, an amazing musician, a mentor to me, um, a fellow um, musician that I play with constantly. We shared a lot of an amazing moments, a lot of blessings together. Everybody, I want you guys to meet Mr. Will Meyer, Marcellin in the house. Oh, Tony, what's, what's up? up? Oh my God! Good. Finally, man. finally, finally, I. Um, what can I say? I mean, how many moments have we shared together? I mean, Aspen, Colorado, the Rockies, uh, you know, with, uh, with Celebrity Entertainment. I mean, um, you know, I was just talking to John Sachs today and uh, another fellow musician, and uh, we were saying that, you know, uh, um, we see each other sometimes more than we actually see our families. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man, we, um, well... Shout out to John Sachs, that's my boy. That's right. um, I don't know, man, it's like, you know, this, uh, this musician life, you know, I'm glad that we are in it. It's a travel, it's a trail, you know, but yeah, man, we, we, uh, got you, you sweating know. there, bro. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'll be all in it, bro, I'll be all in it, you know, but yeah, man, um, yeah, you, I spent, I think, more weekends with you than that's right. my own family, that's right. you know, but that's right. hey. Good times, good yeah, guy. Good, yeah. Always a great time with you, bro. Amazing. And, uh, you know, talking about family, you know, um, you, uh, as myself, I'm a father first, and, and, and I've seen the way that you are with, with your boys and, and your kids, uh, um, you know, husband, uh, how attentive you are constantly uh, with your values and the, the way you, you know, put these values on your kids. And, uh, and uh, I've just seen the way you function and, you know, like I said, in, in, in the moments that we've shared, right. uh, talk to us a little bit about that, man. Yeah, um, well, uh, I, I think it's from my upbringing. Um, coming from a Haitian background, um, I had the privilege of having both my mother and my father. Um, God-serving Christian family Amen. folk. I was based, you know, I had my, grand, um, my grandmother, my grandfather was a deacon. Uh, my uncles, uh, my aunts, we were very close because we, that's, family was all we had. Um, so uh, bringing, you know, being brought up in that type of uh, 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 relationship and that type of set up situation. Upbringing. Um, that upbringing. Upbringing. Um, has, uh, you know, it translated and carried over to uh, my family. Um, I'm very close with my children, very close with my wife, very close with everyone around me, my aunts, my sisters. Yes. We still keep that stuff, um, still up, that same upbringing that rooted in, uh, in what my parents and, and what my grandparents, my ancestors uh, put in us. So, yeah, uh, I try to make sure that uh, the things that were taught to me, I uh, carry them over and, and give them back to my children as well. Absolutely. Well said, and uh, you know, and I've seen it firsthand. You know, uh, not just in 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 a day day to day. I mean, I mean, this is this. I I, I mean, I'm I'm always we always share stories, and I'm always taken by 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 your by your beginnings. You know, uh, as a musician, your humble beginnings, and right. and and uh, to you, this is an escape. This is uh you know. It's a it's a it's 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 a job in itself. It's a career, but to you, it's different. Yeah. To you, it's like an escape from because you are you have your own company. Right. You're an entrepreneur. Right. You're a businessman. Right. You have a, a an insurance company, right. a very successful one that right. is. Right. And uh, and and this comes from your upbringing as well. Right. Your dad, it, it, you know, taught you Same the way. tricks of the trade and. And so forth and so on. I mean, on top of that, you have you know a lot of assets as I, I I've seen you. I mean, I, I'm just extreme. I'm sorry. I'm I'm kind of like pumping nah, you up bro, here. I love you know, it. I, I, I love know. it. Bro, I love it. Because <laughs> because I'm, I'm I'm so proud of you. You know, every time that you know, and and the way that you structure your life, right. you have to have that type of structure in order to do all these things that you do. Right. And oh. then on top of that. You love fast cars. I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. Um, I know a lot about the, uh, you. The I know guilty. a lot about you, bro. <laughs> I know. Man, whoever to research, <laughs> no, give him a race. Yeah, um, nah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, this music is, is my outlet. It was something that, you know, ironically, this was the first thing that, uh, you know, 
started my career. Absolutely. But I, I have a lot of different hats that I wear. I, I'm in the financial services. I, I do accounting. I do corporation, bookkeeping. You're my accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, you know. <laughs> Um, tax prepare, um, preparation, all this other stuff. This was uh, honestly, once again, something that um, our family believed in. Um, my father was a great guitar player and singer, slash accountant, slash insurance, slash bookkeeper. You know, my uncle, another great musician in Miami, played the bass, played everything amazingly. Um, and he's one of the greatest insurance salesmen you know, in this in the state of Florida and probably in this country. Um, so it they always taught me to always never put everything in one basket. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Especially in this time of Like right now, I'm not really, I'm thanking God for that. Mm -hmm. I'm not really suffering from, you know, what's going on, you know, with on the, the coronavirus radio. and everything, yeah. how people are losing their jobs. I don't have that because I have so many... I, my income has been diversified, and Absolutely. different streams of income has been coming in. Absolutely. And I love fast cars, that, so do, I have to do. make sure that I have the money to, That's right. That's you know, right. you got carry that Subi, appetite. You got your Subi, you yeah, know. I got the Rex, I got the uh, GT, uh, Mustang GT. Uh, right. I did some stuff with it. That's so, right. That's right. You know, Mod modifications. Little, you know. We'll get into that later, cause we're we 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 got some. You know, truth be told, we got some other stuff coming up that it's super exciting. It has to do with 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 other things and cars and this. But at any given time, um, I want to kind of just you know um, carry on now to uh, us. You know, right. I know that we started you know with the introduction and and so forth and so on about our relationship. Uh, but, you know, you said something very uh, constructive and structured right now with substance. And I like to tell everybody about the gifts that God gives you, you know, and, and what you do with them. You know, uh, I always tell people, you know, you have to change your belief system, you know. And, uh, and I had a, a, young, a young kid that I was mentoring and he said, you know, I just learned all this stuff. And I said, no, you didn't learn it. It was already in you, you know? It was just dormant. You know, there's certain type of people that if you allow it, they'll come into your life, they'll come into your frequency, and they'll awaken these gifts that you have inside you already. God put this inside you already, Amen. you know? So yeah. it's, it, it, it's for you to awaken all these gifts, and you'll be surprised how many things you can do and how many gifts you have inside you already, these gifts that you come with at birth okay yeah. so nevertheless me and you hanging out uh, you know uh, you know with uh, kicking Aspen over in, in Colorado right. the Rockies uh, uh, you know I mean so much fun you know goes yeah. into into our into I, I mean I mean, yeah, yeah <laughs> yeah I mean I say I go to work because I want to not because I have to yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can, I'm glad that I can say that as well. You know, and uh, and I think that uh, and I think that's a blessing in its own. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I don't want to leave without you telling people how they can get in touch with you. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, Will, you know, he he plays. Um, you know what? Wow, my bad. Before we leave, you have been in one of the biggest stages. And have gotten one of the biggest um, uh, recognitions, and that is to the Stellar Awards. Oh yeah, we've been nominated. Oh, well, that's another hat um, yeah. in my collection. Yes, I've, that's uh, right. My group. I've been a part of a gospel, well, gospel rock. It's so much group. Um, by name is Sincere since 2009. Um, and uh, shout out to Sincere. Those are my boys. Um, we're we're actually uh, getting ready to. Uh, well, actually, we did really we released a single May first. Okay. So it's on everything digital platforms. You can check it out. What's the name of the single? Oh man, um, not dance. So many. We just make so many songs. Yeah. I'll have that on my my Instagram. I'm gonna give you my Instagram and it'll it'll be there. Um, just you know, brain fart. But uh, yeah, um, we've been all over the world. When when um, when did you guys get nominated for that stellar award? What? We get nominated almost every year and always almost get beat every up. year. Yeah. Wow. Almost every wow. year. Um but you know, hopefully one day we'll win one. 
Um, I think you'll win this year. I'm praying for that. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I declare that. We've declared a lot of things. Uh, we had somebody from uh, from a very resourceful, uh, you know, uh, dealing with Spotify and and just very, you know. In, in, you know, instructional substance, like I've said, you know, we try to have all these, all these guests here, like, like yourself, like, like Ray, like Joma, like, like Pastor Frank Hernandez. Right. I mean, I'm, uh, uh, we, we've had a lot of different people here, and at any given time, we like to extract information, right. you know, right. because this is what it's all about. You're on spotlight. Right. It's the spotlight's on you. Right. You know, you're bringing new information right. about you. Right. You know, sharing it too the spotlight audience and everybody right. out there that wants to listen, you know, right. so at any given time. Um, but uh, Stellar Awards, nomination almost every year, Will Meyer, Marcellin, Will Sachs. Um, tell them where they can reach you. Um, best platform, Instagram. You can check me out at wonder underscore music. E is a three instead. Instead of the E, put a three. So wonder with a three, R underscore music um, and uh, you'll find me there and all information about everything I'm doing you might see some pictures of me and Tony that's right you know I, oh, oh boost oxygen remember boost, that? oh yeah boost <laughs> oxygen <Aspen>. <laughs> <laughs> A shout out to Brian from Boost Oxygen. He's always so amazing with me. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a great part of everything that we do. Brian, we love you, man. Boost Oxygen, we need you in Aspen, especially 15,000 feet above yeah. sea level. We definitely need you. Yeah. So, um, definitely, man, thank you so very much for coming. Oh, Tony, you know, man. Thank uh, you I don't want to leave us. We don't want to go into commercials. He's going he's gonna to grab his horn right now. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Ray's going to start playing a little bit of music, and we are going to lead you off into the nightlife. Tony Choi, hit it.
everybody, what's up? We're back. It's Tony Choi and it's Spotlight Wednesday night. Check this out, everybody. Somos Latinos, like we always said. That's a slogan here for Latino Live. And I have the honor and blessing to have right next to me, not just an amazing brother in Christ, but also my very own pastor from Freedom in Christ, Mr. Frank Hernandez in the house. Pastor Frank Hernandez, as I call him. And uh, thank you so much for being here, thank brother. You, thank you. It's a blessing that you're here. Um, what can I say? Um, uh, I've been waiting for this moment for a while. Yeah. You know, uh, I know that you've been extremely, <laughs> extremely <laughs> careful. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, because of the family yeah. and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, even though, you know, we trust the Lord, yeah. uh, we definitely do our due diligence and are proactive to. Exactly. whatever it is that we have to do to stay safe yes, yes. correct yes that's so correct. as I've always said to everybody welcome to spotlight Thank you know you. I think that uh, you um, uh, what can I say you mean so much to me in my life yeah, yeah. my mentor you've taught me so much um, you know you've made me a part of your family yeah you know definitely. a part of your congregation uh, you know uh, little by little uh, I think God opened um, and paved the way for us to to get closer and uh, uh, I becoming a uh, lead worship pastor for your for, for, for the congregation yeah. uh, on top of that um, just doing so many things I mean you've done you you so many things yeah. uh, we, we talked about gifts yeah. you have so many gifts Frank oh, wow. so many gifts yeah. uh, and uh, and you definitely know the Word of God, you know? Amen, amen. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, um, yeah, a lot of gifts, but I always give the glory to the Lord. Amen. And, you know, we're just vessels that the Lord is using, um, just like yourself. You, How many talents do you have, you know? And, um, but, you know, I feel like the Bible says everything we do is for the glory of the Lord. Amen. And, um, and the Bible also says, you know, He, uh, you know, he resists the, the proud, but He gives to the humble. That's right, and um, and you know we always have to maintain ourselves being humble. That's right, because uh, the Lord, um, He uses those that are humble, and uh, I, w I love to be used. I don't know about you, but I love uh, me to. Me too. Used. I love to do Bible studies, and you know I do the the church and uh, Freedom in Christ. Uh, we've been already for I believe seven years now since October. Uh, we've been in uh, in the area of Kendall, and uh, you well, obviously you know that but I like to promote the church as well. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're growing and now we're taking everything online because of the quarantine yeah. so but yeah it's 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 just good it's a journey and I'm just riding the waves that's know? right and the and, uh, you know uh, instrumental fundamental substance uh, you know um, we kind of rewind a little bit and how I always start our our interview you know mm -hmm. our conversation yeah. our, our fellowship you know we talk about family first, you know, yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, I know the love of your life, you know, first is God, yeah. you know, but, but there's another love in your life, <laughs> yeah. you know, besides Gabby, your wife, you know, his name is Tristan, yeah. you know, yeah, and uh, Tristan is an amazing, amazing, um, he he's loves not that lot. little anymore. <laughs> he, lo he loves you a lot and he's uh, always asking for you. Awesome, awesome. And uh, talk to us about that, 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 that bond that you have with your child, man. Well, the thing is, um, like I said it, and I'm going to keep saying it, everything's to the glory of the Lord. And I think God brought Tristan into my life to show me what a father is like. Amen. So um, I, I learned from the Bible what God is to us, and that's the way I am to my son. Um, my son is the type of person that wherever we go, if he wants something, I get it for him. I'll do whatever it takes to get it for him. And if you see that, that's the way God is for us. Amen. That's why the Bible says, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. I got you. You know, I'm paraphrasing. But, and in the same way, um, since God the Father teaches us to be that way, I, I'm that way with my son. That's right. And um, his love has grown so much for me. I love my son so much. And, you know, like I said, first is God, then my wife, and then my son. But um, we have a relationship that's amazing. Yeah, and, 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 and forgive me if, if, if I tap into... A little deeper than mm -hmm. that and, and I, I you know because you know with me with me and you is personal yeah it, it, you know yeah. and you showed me you know a very special a very special thing in it and, and, and it's that the understanding how you always say keep it in context yeah, yeah. you know I, I take that wherever I go yeah. you know and uh, you know I I um, you know to me to me like you've 
taught me, and, and I've heard it first from you. The greatest command, there's 300 oh, wow. in the Old Testament, there's 10 over here, but the greatest commandment of them all is love. Is love. You know? That's what it and, is. Uh, you know, and I feel that, you know, that transcends, it just, it just overflows. And I like know. the fact that you're talking about gifts today. But the Bible even says you can have all the gifts, but if you have no, you have no love, you have nothing. That's right. And and that's right. I mean that's what it is. It's that's based right. on love. And that's and right. the Word of God says that God is love. That's right. So if we have God, then we have love. That's right. And that's what we have to operate. That's why we are the light of this world, the salt of this world, because we are love. That's right. And it brings me to the slogan, well, phrase that I saw today. Yeah. I could have seen it any day. I could have seen it two weeks from today. I could have seen it yesterday. I could have seen it um, the day after tomorrow. But I saw it today specifically on a truck that was leaving my mom's house as I, I was taking her uh, 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 groceries because she can't leave. She can't go outside or whatever. And I mean, she's 84 years old. So... You know, right there, smack, God tells me, look at this. And it says, religion sets rules. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Religion sets rules. God sets love. Amen. Let me repeat that again. Amen. Religion sets rules. But God sets love. All right? I, got, I want you guys to really... You know, think about that and uh, and kind of ponder on that for a moment because that is very special. And I wanted to bring that on. I was like, "Wow, okay, we're gonna talk about that." Yeah. You know, and uh, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat things. You know, um, uh, you know, uh, as, as um, uh, you know, I've heard, you know, some pastors and 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 uh, you know, um, uh, I, I forgot his name, uh, Norfolk. I mm -hmm. think his name is, uh, he's a pastor, he's also uh, a gospel singer, yeah. uh, Smokey, Smokey Norfolk. Okay. And, and uh, he said, he said, do not, you know, I, I make mistakes, I'm a man, you yeah. know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't condemn myself because God is not condemnation. Exactly. You know, Romans 3.23 mm -hmm. clearly states, mm -hmm. we all fall short yeah. from the glory of God. God. So why overthink and why worry about all these things that, you know, we cannot help sometimes, right. you know what I'm saying? Now, nevertheless, we talk about, you know, the rules, yeah. and then we talk about grace, yeah. you know, yes, uh, yes. all that stuff. So talk to me a little bit about that. So first of all, I'd like to start with saying, like, they usually look at pastors or anybody that goes to church, and they think that we are religious. And it's not about us being religious. We're not, we have no religion. Um, I see it as we just have a relationship with the Lord. Um, that's bottom line, that's where it counts because at the end of the day, the Word of God says that He's going to stand in front of us. Our friends are not going to be there. Our neighbors are not going to be there. It's just going to be Him and us and He's going to say either I know you or I don't. So how do you get to know somebody? It's through a relationship. That's right. So it's not about religion. It's not about religious. It's not about traditions made by man. It's about your personal relationship with our Lord Jesus. That's right. And once you have that personal relationship with Jesus, there's going to be an inner peace. There's going to be a, 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 a love that enters your heart, a joy that you never had before. And that's what we carry around being. Like, even in these times where things are, you know, falling apart, people are, are, don't know where they're going to get a, a, a next paycheck or they don't know what's going to happen next. But we walk around with this peace and this joy that they don't understand. And this is the type of way we have to reflect because... We are not the actual light, but we're reflecting off that light because the Bible calls Jesus the Lord of the light of this world. That's right. So we're reflecting on Him. That's right. You know, I always see like, you know, because I'm a DJ as well. I always see like a mirror ball. You know yeah. a mirror ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't have its actual light. Disco ball. A disco ball, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have an actual light, but if you reflect, if you put spotlights on it, it shines back. That's right. So we're one of those little squares in that big ball and we're just spinning around. He's the light. Amen. Amen to that. Well said. And uh, we'll tap into now, kind of, uh, you kind of beat me to, you beat me to it. Um, you're a DJ as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how does that work? Uh, you know, a lot of people, oh, sometimes man. people, you know, yeah. judging you shall be judged, yeah. condemning you shall be condemned. Yeah. You know, people are like, you know, uh, you, you're, you're a DJ and, and, da, 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 and then you're like, some, and, and I know you, you don't like to tell yeah. people that you're a pastor. Yeah, I don't. You know, you just like, you know, if somebody, uh, uh, you're a pastor, yeah. you know, it's like people kind of get taken by that. So, um, um, uh, Talk to us a little bit about that. that okay, so whole... basically, um, I, I have a church, Freedom in Christ, and um, the Lord hasn't spoken to me and told me that I can take from the offerings or from or getting paid through the church. So I need to make money. That's right. And um, 
uh, God has been the one to open the doors and put me at places to work. And I don't work at clubs or, you know, at bars. I work at a bowling alley, DJing at a bowling alley where there's kids. That's right. And um, that's where I DJ. The beautiful part about it is that God is with me everywhere. So even while I'm DJing, if somebody comes up to me, a waiter or the manager of Bolero in Miami, <laughs> um, walks up to me and goes to me, hey, look, I'm not feeling good. Can we please pray? I step out of the DJ booth just like Ray. I stand in the middle of the bowling alley. We hold hands and we pray there. Amen. And God, God, God works. And, and these people are coming to the Lord that way. And they Amen. see the light of the world, of, 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 of Jesus everywhere. Amen. So it's Amen. amazing. It's Amen. amazing. So um, at the time of, of me being a DJ and people are saying, look, this guy's a pastor and a DJ. They used to tell Jesus, look who he's hanging around with, tax collectors and prostitutes. So if they did that to him, they could do that to me. That's right. You know, he's That's the right. Lord. He's the master. That's right. That's right. And he did not get forgotten in a week, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it uh, stands the, the test of time. Yeah. Uh, nevertheless, um, uh, so freedom in Christ, uh, uh, just tell us a little bit about that. Where, where uh, if anybody wants to get congregated, congregated, they, 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 they don't have a church, uh, especially now that we're going to, we're returning to the new normal, as we call it, you know, um, uh, I know that we're going to get back uh, into, into, in, into the congregation, yes. uh, anybody that, that wants to be a part of, of this amazing church, uh, we're a family, uh, I could tell you firsthand and personally, uh, you know, it's, uh, no, you know, no perfect people allowed, you know, so uh, I always call ourselves imperfect soldiers for the kingdom of God, yeah. and that's what we are, we're here to serve, as Pastor Frank Hernandez said, yeah. you know, we are here to serve, and this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, everybody, our whole crew, yeah. you know, uh, we come together, uh, we eat together, we, 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 we pray together, we, we, we celebrate together, we cry together, you know, I think that, you know, there's a season for everything, Right, yep. and even the Bible says there will yep. be seasons for everything: yep. a, a season to cry, a season to cheer, a yep. season to mourn. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What season are you in? You know what I'm saying? So, at, at any given time, that's pretty much. Um, um, what can I say? Um, I love you. You know. Love you, too, uh, uh, you know. Um, uh, you know. You've taught me so very much. You know. Um, uh, you've given me uh, the gift of pastoral you know, to myself, and uh, I today stand very proud of that, of that calling, mm -hmm. you know, you've, you've kind of said, you're, 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 you're a pastor, you yeah. know, and, uh, and, um, you know, that, that definitely transcended, and, and it, and it sat with me, at first I fought it, you know, and you told me, don't fight it, yeah. don't fight it anymore, wow. you know, and, uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, we've shared a lot of tough moments in my life yeah you know yeah. when I was at my lowest yeah you know um, and I think that you know the only the only one that brought me up was God amen you know and uh, and I stand today here stronger than ever amen gave me double portions of yes. everything yes. God is everything. good so um, nevertheless freedom in Christ we're in Bird Road yeah Bird Road 144th um, Sundays 10 30 a.m. when we open we're not open yet but uh, you can uh, contact DJ, yes, DJ, DJ F A T E 8 on Instagram, uh, and we'll give you the Zoom password, and so you can jump in with us. Uh, we do services Sundays at 10.30 a.m. through Zoom. And we also have a Freedom in Christ website, uh, uh, website and yeah. IG and Instagram. Oh, yeah, Instagram and, and IG. Facebook, yeah, right? my, my wife is in charge of that, all that. She's the administrator of the church. And we also got Gabby, um, Gabby. Gabby, and we also have um, Alex and Carol. They're the uh, elders of the church. Correct. So uh, the church is, is operating, man. Everything's awesome, and everything's amazing. Can I just pray? Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. I want to pray for for everyone out there watching, and for uh, li uh, Latino Live and Spotlight, and everybody here. I just want to um, thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing in this place, Father. Like Tony said, that he uh, feels that he's getting a double portion. I pray double portion on everyone in this place, Father. Let your grace and favor fall on everyone in this place, Lord Jesus. And I thank you because you are the one being glorified here. And we thank you, Father, for any listener out there that has never heard of the name Jesus or is not a believer, Lord. I pray that you open their hearts and transform their hearts and transform their, their, their mind, Lord, so, you, so they can know that you are the only living God. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. 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 Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing, uplifting story. Not story, but just man. Uh, and uh, 
I am honored and blessed to have him here. My name is Tony Choi. This is Spotlight, and uh, we'll be right back. Everybody, we're back. Tony Choi here on Latino Live. Man, I'm just, I'm just so, I'm so blown away. I'm so blessed. I'm so overwhelmed with, with energy, uh, emotions. Uh, my brother Ray Rodriguez here. He's just on those one and twos. He's doing the best that he does. The thing that he does best, you know, besides other things. But listen, I have to uh, get my glasses first of all because I can't see sometimes, but uh, check, it, check it out. I, I, I just want to take notice right now. Uh, we got Carl Caleo is watching, Luis Nocelli, my brother Luis, te amo, te extraño, te voy a ver aquí pronto. We got, um, we got also Will Corujo in the house, master violinist, saxophone player, singer from Latin Devos. He's watching as well. We got Angela Pasilico watching as well from Miss Latin World International. We got Larry Mizrahi, we got Juve we got oh my god we got so many people uh, we got Nenuko's watching right now we have Guillermo Schloder uh, the percussion is for Pitbull's watching right now we got um, oh my god we got Kimmy Malo's watching as well we got Pamela Palma we got Ludwig Poe oh my god we got Ludwig Poe watching the show brother listen that rhyme by the way Ludwig Poe watching the show that's right all right listen we got a very special person right now on the phone with us via video call. It's my very good friend Joma, best credit girl from the credit group. We have her right now live here on Spotlight. Joma, what's up? <laughs> hey, Tony, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Wow, you look beautiful, girl. Oh, thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me tell you uh, what a pleasure it is to have you here today. Uh, I've been... Thank you for having you know, me. I, I've been like, Joma, you got to come on the show. Joma, <laughs> we got to come on the show. Joma, That's for sure. Joma tells me, I ain't going nowhere. You know, I'm staying <laughs> home. You know, so uh, nevertheless, um, oh, my phone is ringing. Okay, so uh, we're going to cut this out here. This is live, so we could do this stuff, you know? Uh, so, Joma, check this out. Um, yes. Welcome to Spotlight. Thank you so much for doing this video call. I would have loved to have you right here next to me, you know, but uh, <laughs> soon, soon, soon we'll make it happen. Uh, nevertheless, soon, um, soon. Um, like we always start, we st uh, I, as I told you, we start with family, then we go on to your gifts we've been talking about gifts and uh and then obviously you know we outro we lead out to our um to our relationship 
uh, and, and the way that we have uh, formed this uh, amazing entrepreneurship relationship and all the plans that we have ahead Absolutely. and uh, and with your expertise you we're gonna get into that right now but uh, talk to us a little bit about you know family you know uh, I know you're a mother uh, and, uh, you know you're you're very attentive uh, to your girls and uh, and what can I say talk to us a little bit about that well you know um I have my two girls that here raising in COVID-19 right now. Uh, it's a lot, but we're, we're making it through and things are going pretty well. So I'm pretty happy about that, Tony. Amazing, amazing. And uh, um, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get so much into, in, it's so personal, you know, with you. So <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave Thank a couple, you. I'm going to leave a couple of things out. I, I, I know that later Thank on you'll you. call me and you'll be like, Tony, you know, so uh, okay. nevertheless, let's talk about the credit group. Okay. Best credit girl. Okay. This is how I met you, uh, which we'll talk about that in just a moment, but I want you to go into the substance and, um, and the things that, because, you know, I, I've been a client, I am a client, you know, and, uh, and you've done amazing, amazing. I've gotten amazing results uh, from, from, from everything that, that your team, yourself, how attentive you are with your customers. Uh, I think that you, they, they become family to you and you really, really, really make it your uh, mission. You make it your mission, girl, to I do. get these people results. So talk to us a little bit about the credit group. Well, the credit group, we started it 20 years ago, believe it or not, Tony. Um, my background wow. comes from real estate, uh, flipping properties, working for the state attorney's office, um, closing loans. Um, and I just really decided that being in the credit business was something I wanted to change. So many people that I saw went to the, come to the table, tried to close on their loans, and because of the credit, they weren't able to. The interest rates were too high. Um, the fees that they were paying, it was just not fair. So for me, getting into the credit business was something that I wanted to help to see so many people obtain a mortgage loan for one, becoming homeowners. Yes. Because, of course, that is a part of the American dream. That is. That is. Everyone wants to own their own home. And without having good credit, that is, that's just impossible. So I wanted to change because there's so many people that's in the credit business. You and I talk about that. Too. Yes. Um, and all that they're doing is sending out letters, disputing items that's on right. the credit report. And the results are so minute. How can you actually get real results to help people to better and to build their credit? Right. So that's where the credit group, we, we focused on the core of the credit, reporting positive trade lines through their credit file, eliminating the negative things that do not belong on their credit report, and helping them gain in financial independence for themselves. So that, that's just a mission for me. Uh, my wonderful staff that I have, and it's just something that I'm really passion, and I love to see change with someone's credit profile, and that's why with us, our our tagline is changing lives one credit line at a time. That's right. That's right, and 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 that's amazing. You said a mouthful, um, um, and yes. I and, and and this is and, and we're gonna we're gonna continue. But eh, quiero la, hablarle en este momento a, a, a nuestra audiencia de en español porque también tenemos audiencia en español. Eh, hemos dejado un poquito de todo esto a, a, al lenguaje de de, de el, el, que es anglo, eh, el inglés, obviamente mm -hmm. eh, el fuerte mío. Eh, eh, mi primera lengua eh, ha sido el español, pero claro, como siempre, he estado en los Estados Unidos. Uh, Joma, I'll explain to you everything that I'm saying, but no, I'm, I'm kind of directing to myself to the okay? spotlight audience, the Spanish-speaking spotlight audience. No, poquito, so, poquito. I, <laughs> poquito, poquito. That's right. So I'm kind of explaining to them uh, who you are, and, and uh, I'm trying to give a, a proper introduction to our Spanish-speaking audience. So, eh, de todas maneras, eh, siempre siendo Joma, es de una compañía que se llama Best Credit Group. Ellos te ayudan con tu crédito. Arriba de eso que te ayudan con tu crédito, de arreglar tu crédito, también te eh, they build up, te, te, 
te crecen el crédito tuyo. No solamente te quitan cosas negativas y, y te ayudan a hacer settlements y esto y lo otro, también te hacen que el crédito crezca. So es muy constructivo y tiene mucha sustancia. So basically why I explain the, the Spanish speaking audience, Joma, is what you do. Not just, not just the, that you fix the credit and you take out things that, you know, that, that can help somebody um, uh, uh, kind of uh, get to Increase that build up. And, and, and you build, and you actually build the credit, you know? You, you start building the person's credit. Because it's not just about taking things out and doing settlements. It's, a, it's actually about building up that credit. So You they, have they, to build the credit. Yeah. Uh, because without showing established credit to the lenders, you're not able to get a loan. That's right. They want to see some type of track record. How are you maintaining and paying your bills on time? That's so right. That's, that's major. Yeah, that, that is major, and that right there is a misstep that a lot of people don't realize. They think that a, a FICO score, oh, I got a 700, and stuff like that. And, and in, the wor in, in my world, which I, I dealt with, uh, with the finance, with the car, with the car business, the automotive business, I, I was in the automotive business for so long, and I was a finance yes. manager and so forth and so on. We learned that you know, a FICO score, is it a strong FICO score? Uh, you know, oh, this, this, this FICO score is strong. Why is it strong? Because it's not just a number. It has actual a track record, like Joma said. Absolutely. So, um, and and, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. And the other thing is that there is multiple of credit scores. You have the Advantage score, you have your FICO score, you have scores that are used by different companies. Uh, for example, uh, Credit Karma, a lot of folks use Credit Karma to monitor their credit file. Now, for Credit Karma, they provide a demi-fine credit score. It's not the actual score because they're not a partner with Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. They've actually created their own module in generating a credit score. So a lot of people that are looking at their Credit Karma credit scores or other companies that are providing a credit source, you, they have to really know that's not their actual score. Absolutely. Because when you go to the bank or you go to a car dealership, it becomes something different. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So. Yeah, and 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 once again, you know, um, we 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 definitely want to have all this information correct when you go uh, either purchase a house or a car or anything that you want, a credit card, so forth and so on. Absolutely. Joma, let's not leave without you telling everybody. It's on screen right now, your phone number, how they can reach you, but uh, give people um, just a, a great introduction to welcome to uh, the credit group. It's 954-318-2935. It's on our screen right now. Joma, thank you so much for being with us. It's a blessing. We got to say goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. That Thank is our you. show. Bye, Tony. Say bye-bye. Here we go. And we're going to let DJ Ray Rodriguez take it away. This is Spotlight. Tony Choi, every Wednesday night, be with us. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you all. I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace.